Hello there, this is John V, Software Evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching a Jscape MFT server tutorial. Today, we'll show you how to use directory monitors. Directory monitors enable your server to monitor local directories for certain events that happen within them. You'll see what I mean in a short while. Once an event has been captured, that event can then be used to fire off a trigger. In turn, the trigger can be configured to perform a variety of actions. For example, upload the newly added file, or notify the admin through an email, or place it in an archive file. As you'll soon see, there are a lot of options. Let's go ahead and see how it's done. Log into the Jscape MFT Server Manager. Once you're inside, navigate into a domain. Then go to the Directory Monitors module. The first thing you need to do is assign a name to the directory monitor. After that, select the directory you want to monitor. Monitor recursively means the directory monitor will also monitor all underlying subdirectories. Let's go straight to the events panel. This is where you select which events this directory monitor is supposed to detect. For example, you can use a directory monitor to detect when a file has been added, a file has changed, a file has been deleted, or a file's age has exceeded a specified number of days. Once you've selected the events you want detected, click OK. As mentioned earlier, those events can then be used to activate a trigger. To do that, just go to the Triggers module. Select one of the directory monitor event types. Let's say you want this trigger to respond when a file has been added. Once you've specified the event type, you can then choose which action or actions this trigger is supposed to perform. So for example, if you want this trigger to upload the newly added file to an SFTP server, we then choose the SFTP file upload trigger action. We won't go into the details of this trigger action but we've included some links to some articles that show you specific applications of directory monitors. Just go to this video's description to see them. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and we certainly hope to see you again next time.